Hey guys, I'm Tim from Anything Scout. Uh, today we're going to be installing our new uh, protective film kit. Uh, you can buy this on our website, uh, anythingscout.com. This is half of the kit that you'll receive. Uh, basically what it does is it protects from rock chips on the lower um, most panels of your Scout. And this is a kit for a Scout 2. We're going to be installing the driver's side today. Um, and this is our truck that we're going to be installing it on. Uh, we're still in the building process of this truck. And now's a good time to do it before it's final, finished, uh, fender flares, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we're going to start with ba the basics of what you need to install this kit and go from there. All right, so when you order our kit, this will uh, be what you'll be seeing. Uh, this is just the driver's side of our kit, so this will be mirrored uh, for the passenger side as well. Um, so you'll get five pieces. These will be uh, front fender, rocker panel, lower door, rear, um, actually rear quarter, and then the front of the rear quarter. Um, the tools that you'll need, they're very basic tools. Everybody, most everybody should have in their uh, in their garage. Squeegee with a felt pad on it. That's just so you don't scratch the, the vinyl that you're gonna be uh, installing. A tape measure, um, just to make sure that you're getting it all lined up straight from the bottom of the uh, fender or the corner panel. Uh, heat gun, variable heat is recommended. Um, there are some heat guns that are just single blast it. Uh, you can use those, but be very careful. Uh, they do get really hot. I like the variable temperature. I set it about medium heat. Uh, that'll come in handy. I'll show you when we'll be using that. And then you're just gonna want a nice spray bottle, um, something that has a good pattern to it. Um, and when you're mixing your soapy water, mix it like way heavy on the soap. Uh, you want it to be as slippery as possible to position the panels uh, when we get it on the truck. That will come in key. Uh, so mix it as if you're thinking that's way too much and then you've probably got enough soap in there. Uh, so now we're at our truck. Uh, first step you're gonna wanna do is wipe down the truck with either a, like a paint prep or uh, just a ammonia-free glass cleaner. Works really well. Uh, you're gonna wanna degrease absolutely all of the panels that this film is going to attach to. Um, a good way to do that, just like a t-shirt rag or a non lint towel, uh, spray the lower, basically third of your truck at least. Uh, we cleaned this whole truck down first. Um, but you'll want, the film will only come up, you know, three or four inches on the quarter panel here. Um, so basically just make sure it's all degreased, thoroughly cleaned. Um, that's the huge key here because anything that gets stuck under that film is going to be there for a while. <laughs> the way I usually start these, just so I have my two reference points, is I'll start on the front of the rear quarter. Um, that is this panel here. It has a little cutout um, for wrapping down underneath. Um, we'll start installation on that in just a minute. All right, so I have my panel here. Um, first off, I'm gonna take my soapy water solution. Uh, we'll spray down the truck panel uh, around where this panel is going to sit and get that ready to take the film. And you want just kind of a light covering on the panel itself. If you live in a dry environment especially, it's winter here in Iowa. Uh, we have a lot of static uh, <laughs> currently. It's really important that the backing paper when you start separating this has lubrication on it, otherwise it'll want to curl and do some weird stuff. So I've noticed that just spraying a couple areas as you start peeling the film off with the soapy water will keep that from happening. Um, and it also adds another level of kind of lubrication on the panel itself uh, before it goes on the truck. So this is nice and covered and soapy solution that is too. We've kind of taken all the guesswork out of it. Um, this is basically die cut to fit perfectly on a quarter panel. So you'll just kind of lay it up there. It'll, as you can see, kind of start conforming uh, to the panel. This is key, having enough lubrication so that you can move it around and position it. Um, the, this is like your starting point, so you'll want to make sure you're pretty square back here um, before you move on to any of the other panels. It's nice, we, we kind of outline where the edge of your film is. So you can line that up. Basically what you're wanting to shoot for is 
the two openings, so your wheel arch and your rear of the door gap. Um, as long as you get those pretty well straight, this panel should fit absolutely perfectly to the quarter panels. Um, this is a new quarter panel, obviously, on a fully restored truck. If you have an older truck um, with different bodywork, you might have to fuss this around a little bit to get it to fit on a, a non-perfect quarter panel. Um, but overall, these should fit very, very well. Um, once you get to this point, this is still very movable. Um, so you'll want to get it aligned, get it where you're happy with it sitting, um, and then start with your squeegee, uh, the felt side, um, and just kind of start pushing some of this, this solution, this soapy water solution out. Um, and you'll kind of see there's some air bubbles and pockets in here. You can just work those out to the corners. I usually start in the middle and just kind of force the water out as much as possible. Um, and if you're pretty happy with position wise on this, um, if you're not, now is the time to do the uh, reposition. Um, so I'm noticing this is kind of dipping a little bit. I'm kind of sitting at a weird angle here. So if you do realize this, it is still very removable. Um, that soapy solution comes way in handy and you can just reapply the panel, um, move it around, make sure you don't stick your thumb in the film, but you can actually reapply this as much as you need to until you're happy with the fitment uh, on the quarter panel. So we're going to go a little bit lower here and set that in place. And also if you have side trim, uh, you can go off that for your, um, your level line that you want to go with. Uh, another way you can do it is just measuring from the bottom of the quarter panel. This truck has a really crisp uh, body line there. That visually is what you can go off of, but if you want to be 100% sure, just measure from the bottom edge of your uh, quarter panel and kind of wrap the tape up and around and then you can kind of get a better judgment of how long this is going to wrap around on your quarter and um, set it up pretty evenly that way as well. Let's get down a little bit. So I'm going to start squeegeeing the water out again uh, on this now that I'm pretty happy with the placement of it to the quarter panel. And once it comes time to start peeling this film, uh, it is crucial that you either press down with a squeegee or your thumbnail and start revealing the film to the truck, kind of like that. It will want to pull, the solution is pretty slippery at first, um, but then you'll hold the film and just start peeling back. The angle I like to match is the angle of the bodywork. Um, I try and go pretty much parallel when I'm peeling the film backing off. This just ensures that I get a nice reveal and I don't slide the film around too much. Um, so you can just kind of pinch down, you can use your thumb at this point too, and just start peeling it back. You'll see the water will kind of, there'll be air bubbles, it's all right. You can get those out very easily. This film is very forgiving. Um, it's probably one of the easier films to imply. So uh, we can just keep working it around and down on the quarter panel and start pushing the water out where it's at. It should all just come right out. Works pretty nice. And then just keep peeling until you get all the backing paper off. That moved a little bit, but we're still good. And start pushing all the water out. Any like imperfections in your paint will unfortunately show pretty well. Um, this truck is very, very nice, but there are some little indentations and stuff, and not everybody's paint job is perfect. So you will see a little bit of that, but not too bad. So that is pretty much what you're going for. You want to make sure that you don't have any major air bubbles and just kind of push the water out towards the bottom because gravity will want to pull the water out anyway. So you can just kind of work from the middle and push all of your air bubbles downward and then wrap underneath the quarter panel itself. And that's pretty much that panel installed. Um, once you get the hang of it, this is pretty much the same um, technique I'm going to use for the rest of the film. So I'll just show the rest of the panels going on and touch on some specifics, but this is the basics of this film kit install. Um, and we're just going to keep continuing and putting the rest of the panels of the kit on. Uh, the next panel I'm going to do is the front lower fender. 
Uh, this will kind of give the back of this panel will give a line that should match up like pretty much perfectly with the corner panel that we just did. Uh, we'll put this panel on and then keep continuing through the process. That's basics of the front fender. Um, basically, you just want to make all these style lines that are die cut into the film uh, match the front profile and then the front of your door edge uh, be pretty well straight. That's kind of the way it's designed. This truck is getting fender flares, so there's going to be a whole um, couple holes in the inner fender. You may or may not have that. Um, if this wasn't here, it would fit perfectly down there. So, um, next panel that we're going to run and do is actually the lower rocker um, first and then we'll come back and do the door uh, panel last. So I've already started removing the backing uh, off this panel. Basically what you're going to want to shoot for is there's like a gap or a crevice here where it starts tapering back. The way this film is designed is to go right on the, the peak of that uh, before it starts wrapping in um, and basically you'll want to line up your back uh, panel straight with that and then just kind of work it down uh, as you go. You'll have to kind of fight some air bubbles will happen. This is a very curved panel um, so you're going to be chasing a few more air bubbles than the other two panels but overall it's the same technique just longer. <laughs> All right so you want to basically get the front face of the rocker done first and work all of your air bubbles down. Um, I'll kind of explain wrapping the top of it but it is kind of crucial to get the bottom half of it stuck and in place when we're working with the top half. Uh, it's a lot easier. Okay, and that's the bottom half um, done there. And for this top half, you're gonna have obviously your soapy solution will be in there. So it does make it a little tricky and this is quite a curve to wrap around. Um, but generally it's the same principle, just starting at one end, kind of working your way down and you'll actually be pushing the water up the curve. I know it seems backwards, but it works pretty well. Um, we'll kind of start at this rear edge. You can use your thumb too if you have clean hands. Um, just kind of work the soapy solution out and we might have to grab the heat gun. Uh, this one's pretty dramatic and I sprayed a lot of soapy solution in there. So we might just need to dry that out a little bit and that's where the heat gun comes into play. All right, and it's just this back corner that's giving me a little bit of trouble. So we're gonna grab the heat gun and kind of get it warmed up and get some of that soapy solution starting to dry out. That will help the rear contour a little bit better to our rocker. All right, and we're gonna use the heat gun uh, just on this rear contour as I was saying. Um, just stay back about three to four inches um, and have it on a medium to medium high heat. Uh, I usually use the high uh, setting just because of the air movement. Uh, it seems to affect the film better that way than the low one, the uh, low setting does. And you'll see the film start to get very, very flexible. That's when you know it's starting to get to the temperature that you want to work with it at. If you get it too hot, you can melt it. Um, it does take quite a bit of heat to melt this stuff. It's very resilient. All right, and that's pretty much the same scenario. I'll do that up here really quick and do the same thing where I just kind of wrap it around and contour it. Um, and then we'll go on to the lower door edge piece. All right, so I'm basically going to start aligning the film at this front mark um, right at the door edge and the height of the front fender film. And then I'm going to match it kind of with the back door edge and the top of the rear film. And then we're just basically going to let it kind of set itself on the door and then we can move it around and reposition it. This is a good point. Um, to like step back and just take a look at it and make sure visually, you know, from the back, 
you won't be able to see it too far away. But you'll definitely notice if you have any waves in the film or um, if you're crooked or something like that, you can go back and move uh, this according to that. This one actually lines up pretty well. So I think we're going to run with it right there um, and keep the same squeegee technique that we've been using um, throughout the installation. All right, now that I've got the front face pretty well lined up, it's all on there nice, no major air bubbles. Um, we're going to open the door and this is where your heat gun is gonna come in clutch. Uh, you're gonna wanna heat the lower edge of all of the film evenly where it would tuck underneath and then we'll wrap the inside of the door. So basically we're gonna take our heat gun and just heat this lower edge of the film and slowly pull and wrap the film over. We're, we're going to match this, basically this body line or the seam where the door skin and the inner door uh, meet. That's basically what this film is cut to that exact dimensions. Um, and we're gonna start by heating up the film. So what I've basically done is started to form the film around and I usually start at the outer edge and work my way forward. You can obviously do it either way, um, but you'll have to force some of this water will get trapped at the bottom of the film and the bottom edge of the door. So you'll need to kind of take that into consideration as you're going. Um, I always try and push the water with me and then at the very end we'll come out the end and squeegee it off. Um, but I'm just going to continue this kind of technique all the way down the door edge. Right, and the last panel in our kit is the rear quarter panel protector. Um, this again is die cut perfectly to the bottom edge of your fender. This is designed to kind of uh, meet this uh, end cap seam here. Uh, so when you lay this out, it will pretty much lay itself on there uh, perfectly with the bottom edge of a, either a factory or a replacement quarter. They work well on both. Um, and basically same, same, uh, squeegee and spray technique that we've been using this whole time applies with this. So just wet the panel down and the film as you go. And we'll just get this laid up there. Just like that. This one will wrap underneath so you'll have the potential for some more air bubbles at the back of this panel uh, than the side, the doors, um, just because you're curving multiple axis um, and the others were pretty, pretty much one single curve. Um, so we'll get in here and start. I usually work from the front to the back um, just so that my front edge is fully adhered. And again, once you get this quarter panel cut out on the front lined up, this body line, the way this film is designed is this film will reveal to this body line back here. Um, it's not gonna be kicked up or straight. It, it will match the um, rear quarter panel body line.
And again, you might need a heat gun to take some of these air bubbles and air pockets at the back out. Um, but once you get that smoothed out, that will complete the film installation. Alright guys, that will complete our install video for our protective film kit for a Scout 2. Again, that's available on our website, anythingscout.com. And like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more installation videos as well as tech tip videos. Thanks. Yep.